Welcome back to Road to Pitches. We are Moritz and Chico, and we are converting a GMC Savannah box truck into a camper. On the last episode, we gave you a tour of our box truck, but let's go back to the very beginning. We found our truck after scouring the internet for two months and had just taken it out for a test drive. Am I on camera? You are on camera. You can keep talking. Okay. So now we're going to take it over to Rivalda's truck and auto repair. I know we're being extra, extra careful um, and maybe too much so. This is like our first truck purchase. We don't know these vehicles that well. So we figured, you know, we'd pay the extra... I think it was like 150 bucks just to get a second opinion. All right, Mort, do you want to get going? I think we should get going. Fuel economy, and right now it showed 30 liters. So let's see how much it shows after my trip to the mechanic. If it shows 30 liter, that'd be a lot. <laughs> so. This was what the truck looked like before demolition. As you can see, it was previously built as a mobile workshop for fiberglass splicing. It was messy, smelled a little weird, but the best part of the truck was... It even got its own built-in pee jug. This is it. We just stopped at the mechanic. We're at Rivaldo right now, and Stefano's been super friendly, very welcoming gonna take a good look at the truck for us before we actually make our purchase. I'm very grateful for that. Um, and Mort is taking some preliminary yes. measurements so I can do some more sketches tonight. Better and I'm ideas. Way. Are we done here, Mort? Uh, one last test. I want to check oh. what state these batteries are. Mort's found some batteries. That's, oh. If it's anything above 11 volt, it's really good. And if it's below 11 volt, they're probably dead. Oh yeah, 7 volt. They are dead. So, well, we'll see. Uh, How do you feel so far? I think that's great. Are you excited? Nervous? And if Stefano says it's good, then it's good. And, oh yeah, also fuel consumption. It was above 20 liters, but in city traffic. So I think overland we will be in the 20 liters or below. Which is higher or lower than you expected? Uh, still higher because I was hoping for 15 liters. Maybe we can crush 15 liters. I guess we will be like 18 to 20 liters per hundred. And Moritz doesn't like being filmed. <laughs> no, he gets sucked out by the camera. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it for this one day. We'll yes. report back tomorrow morning. Bye! Bye. The next day, we came back and bombarded Stefano with questions, but he patiently answered and explained everything. Alright, do you have any more questions? Yeah, no, otherwise, if you say you, you found everything in all I like the truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the truck at all. Mm -hmm. I think the truck's actually yeah. in a decent shape. Um. Today is the day! We are almost there. Yeah, you can see a bunch of trucks already. Bunch of trucks. That one? Huh? Is it that one? No. <laughs> dun, dun. Right. That's good. <laughs> Congratulations. Alright. All right. I knew how. <laughs> <laughs> So, what happened, Moritz? I drove into the hitch at the car dealer. After we signed all the papers to buy our vehicle, Moritz excitedly drove into one of their trucks. <laughs> right, we're cleaning. Look at this disaster. We got the truck. This is really awkward, having to look at you, but not having to look at you. We have to look in the camera. Look in the camera. <laughs> Day one? Ooh, that was gross. Did you see that? Or is it just the air in here? Oh, it could just be the powder off of the latex. Get rid of all the toilet paper. Morse is having Christmas Day. 
digging through these drawers. Oh, um, like, interesting stuff in there. It's like to splicing fiberglass. Lubricant. Oh yeah, you see, and that's fiberglass stuff. All these little plugs, they plug in fiberglass. But just doing like an initial pickup so that we, when we drive it over to our friend's place later, it doesn't have disgusting towels by the pizza. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Tonk life is a whole lot more fun with a new girl each night to call me. And the teardown begins. We probably removed over 200 screws to free the panels from the walls. The only issue I was having was Moritz wanted to keep every single thing inside these drawers. House clamps. I want to keep those too. Wait, what? Uh, you want to keep those? Uh, no, oh, not it. Well, in case you need to connect two cables without monitor entering. What's what is the likelihood of that? Very likely. Uh, what is here. this brackety thing for? This I actually do not know. Mm -hmm. it's so cold now. Whatever. My hands are dirty. <laughs> Mine are dirty. Oh well. So. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh. We gotta redo some of the ceiling in the back. Oh, that's no bueno. No. It seems to be a leak. Looks to be like a leak. Amazing. <laughs> we have leftover crepes with bananas, strawberries, and Nutella <laughs> from last night. Want to take a bit of a break? Oh, uh, let me remove this and then yes. Okay. Whew. I need help. <laughs> well, I guess you have to like where it does the round shape on where it round cup connects. There is a little gap you can see. Mantle, is it mantle? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. no. Oh, that hurt my belly. <sighs> I'm up. There's like a slot here, and then you can actually see the light coming through a little bit. Yeah. Right That's there. I'm pretty sure where that water in front came in. So we have started with a new box. New box to expense. New no, what's your concern? I don't know. I'm just like curious if having this fixer upper mm -hmm. is like it's saving us money but like mm -hmm. is it really <laughs> there's so much work it's not like we haven't even bad. started no? no okay it's one day getting it down second day getting it up <laughs> <laughs> getting it up always changing the stigma in my car, taking off with your friends to leave you alone at the bar. Never shaved your Limited. legs till you had some place else to be. Are you okay? My heart was the sweetest thing you ever did for me. I got it. So now, now we can. When you have a time, can you give me the wrench case then? When I was trying to well, okay. the wrench case. Bicep curl. Hi. Yeah, look what they did here. This giant cable somehow turns into this very tiny cable with a lot of electric tape in the middle. I don't know what they did here, but I'm not liking it. <laughs> yeah.
really bad crimp. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Where are we going? To the garbage guys, to the dump. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not even six. It's 5.52, but we had daylight savings yesterday, which means it's really 4.52. <laughs> and we were up late watching the Vietnam War document. No, we were up late trying to get Netflix to work. Yes. <laughs> GPS signal lost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all this garbage. Don't mean a goddamn thing. It's a shame it took so long to see the forest for the trees. Yeah, honey, breaking my heart was the sweetest thing you ever did. And that's what happens to your garbage every day. Every day. <laughs> oh, wow. Where did I put the key? No, seriously, where did I put the key? Have you seen it? It's not here. Oh. Check your oh, it's on my left side. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> this marks the end of the demolition phase, which means we can start working on the rusty patches, electrical, and backup cameras. We hope you enjoyed watching our journey so far. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see our next video where we'll actually be adding things to the truck. Before we close off, I'd like to thank Callan Furlong, my dear childhood friend and awesome local Toronto musician, for letting us share his music with you. Check him out in our links below. See you next time. Alright, back to bed! <laughs>